printf method is a useful tool for formatting strings. In previous videos, we've looked at precision, width, and other flags. In this video, I'd like to focus on the flag zero. The flag zero works with all numeric data types. You have integers, octal, hex, scientific notation, and float values. If you notice down here in the first example, the zero flag goes between the percent character and the conversion data type. What the flag zero does is it puts leading zeros before a value. Now, when we try this the first time, we notice that it produces an error. The reason is, is that you must specify a width with the zero flag. Otherwise, you will get an error because it's only going to print one, two, three, and there wouldn't be any space for leading zeros. So we see in the second example, we have six spaces and we have four characters over there. Do not forget that the negative sign is a character. So when we print it out, it adds two leading zeros to one, two, three, and it also includes the negative sign. The negative sign is going to come before the leading zeros. Next, I've added a float value. It only has one leading zero because there are one, two, three, four, five, six characters in one, two, three point one, two. The decimal separator is a character, and the last space will have a leading zero in front of it. The last example here does something that you cannot do, and that has the flag hyphen or negative here, zero, seven. So what this would say is left justify whatever is going to be printed out and then have leading zeros. Well, there can't be leading zeros if you're left justifying a value. What I've done is created a width of five and indicated the width by lines in each one of these examples. If the zero flag is not used, it will write justify, but not put anything inside of these spaces preceding the number. But when we do use the flag, it will add the leading zeros. And notice for the negative, it adds the negative first and then adds the leading zeros. The zero flag is a useful tool in the printf method. It allows users to add leading zeros before all types of numeric values. Remember, you must specify a width when using the zero flag. Also, remember that negative signs will appear before the leading zeros, and you cannot use the hyphen or negative flag in conjunction with the zero flag.